Hi guys, welcome to our video 3.7, the mole. The mole is a very, very important concept in chemistry, and it's really critical that uh, we understand this one. All right, so first thing we're going to talk about is a special number called Avogadro's number. And that number is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. All right, and that will be written out, like here, 602 with 21 more zeros. So it's a really huge number. And that's important because one mole of a substance has 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles. And that could be atoms or molecules. So if we're talking just plain old iron atoms, okay? One mole of iron atoms would have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. If we're talking about water molecules, one mole of water molecules could have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd water molecules. And the way I like to describe it, the way I like to think of it is it's like a chemist's dozen. Right? If you think uh, you're going to go down to Dunkin' Donuts and get a dozen donuts, right? a dozen equals 12. There's the old concept of the baker's dozen. Right? If you get a lot of bakeries, still do this. If you get a baker's dozen, that's actually 13. Okay? Uh, and when you get a six pack of soda, there's six cans or bottles of soda in the six pack. Okay, If you get a case of soda, there's 24 cans or bottles of soda in the case. So we're used to dealing with these uh, special names for certain amounts of things. Most common, of course, being the dozen. Right? So for in chemistry, the mole is the chemist dozen. But instead of being a small manageable number like 12 or 13, the chemist does in the mole is dealing with 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Now, why is that important? Okay? It's actually kind of magical. And the magic of the mole is that it turns AMU, which we can't measure with any device that we have, into grams. Okay? Now, one carbon atom has a mass of 12 amu then one mole of carbon atoms has a mass of 12 grams it's very simple it takes whatever the atomic mass is on the periodic table and changes it from amu to grams right if one hydro if one water molecule has a mass of 18 amu that would mean one mole of water molecules has a mass of 18 grams. So basically, what it allows us to do is it allows us to cross out AMU and write grams. And that's why it's important to deal with the mole. Okay, so so far, right, we talked about mass number or atomic mass or even the formula mass. So now we're going to talk about molar mass. And this can be written as grams per mole g per mol or grams over moles it can also be stated as gram formula mass or gfm and sometimes it will be just referred to as a formula mass because we're usually going to work with grams all righty question time so calculate the molar mass or gfm for the following okay so it's the same thing you need to do at the end of last homework but this time instead of amu the answer is in Rams. All right, that brings us to the end of 3.7, and I will see you guys in school.